it's Linda from homeschoolingsix.com and thethinkingtreebranch.com. Today I wanted to share with you the Thinking Tree Nature Study Seaside Science Curiosity Journal, a handbook of observation and discovery. There's the back. All of these photos are inside. They are just in black and white. You're gonna love this journal. So it goes over how to use, things to think about when you go outside, nature study home by Sarah, my books about sea and nature, my nature library for additional books and such, my curiosity collection of drawings. Make a curiosity collection cabinet. Find a box, shelf, or organizer you can use to create a safe place for your nature collection. Draw your container here. And if your child doesn't want to draw, they can always you can always take a picture of it and add it there. Make a nature study basket. Draw your nature study basket here. Shell collect collecting and identification. for shells that they find. And add it here. water lilies. Write down four facts about this plant. Draw a flower from your neighborhood. And I'm just going to skip through some pages. My nature library. There's reading time, today's date. I could, I could write, draw, add things. List the flying animals that live in your area. List the dangerous animals that live in your area. Animals in my region. Common name, write the scientific name, research, ask some questions. I'm trying to go slow enough so you can pause the video if you want to look at some things, but it is a thick book, so um, we're on page 65. There's over a little over 223 pages, so I'm just going to kind of skip around now. Color and trace. Collect 10 small things from your yard and make a nature craft. They're going to color, trace, draw the missing part, and then draw the animal. Add your own art to finish the picture. Draw two of your favorite favorites with a fine, fine point black pen. And I'm just skipping through here. Look in a book and draw fruit in each box. 
dry spider in each box. Find in color and the hidden objects and go outside and draw a leaf in each box. So there you go. I hope that will give you a good idea of what to expect if you decide to purchase this book. And you'll find the links below in the description box. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.